the big day's arrived. I just got back from the post office with my bees. Two to five pound packages of bees are routinely shipped by the postal service. But you will have to pick them up. They don't deliver. If you have to wait before you install your packages, store them in a cool shaded place. In many parts of the country, new package colonies can't produce surplus honey until their second year. But let's hope with some good management, we'll get honey off these this summer. I'm prying these apart so I can install each package individually. Each package holds three pounds, which is over 13,000 bees apiece. Starting this way, instead of with already established colonies, allows us to observe the natural buildup of a new hive. Installing package bees isn't especially difficult, but it can be intimidating to a beginner. First, we need to take out some combs to make room to put the bees. I'll take out and temporarily set aside five frames. Pry off the package lid. Find and remove the queen in her cage. Examine the queen as you place her in the hive. Make sure she's not injured and check for general vigor. I need to suspend the queen between the two centermost combs. When you put in the queen, don't place the screen inward against a frame like this because the workers on the outside can't reach the queen and feed her. Instead, place the frame sideways so that the workers have full access to the queen through the screen. It's real important to spray the packages with sugar syrup and to spray them real heavily. Bees engorge on the syrup and this makes them sticky and they don't fly as much and they're easy to pour. It's really hard to spray them too much at this point. After I have them good and doused, and I'm going to shake the bees down into the bottom and shake them and spray them some more. Now I can remove the feed can. are now ready to pour into the hive. It's important to shake quite a few bees right on top of the caged queen. And then the rest of them can go inside the space you created earlier. Keep bouncing the package to shake out all the bees. Spread two rounded tablespoons of teramycin dust on top of the bees. Teramycin treatments will be repeated two more times at four-day intervals. Return combs to the hive as quickly as possible, so the bees will have them to disperse over. This will prevent suffocation.
move slowly and confidently with your bees. Be sure not to pinch the bees between frames. Move them aside gently when necessary. Because of the queen cage, we won't be able to fit in the tenth frame. We'll return this one later when we remove the queen cage. Punch holes in the wax paper wrapping of a pollen substitute patty. This helps the bees chew through the paper and feed. Now place it on top of the frames. Carefully place the inner cover upside down to accommodate the protein patty. Place grass clippings in the entrance to keep the bees from coming out so readily. Feed your bees medicated syrup continuously until natural nectar flows begin. A variety of feeders is available in catalogs, but we are using the Boardman entrance feeder. Repeat the installation process for each of the 10 hives. Now for some honey and bee trivia. Sugar syrup stimulates the production of beeswax, which is necessary for building comb.